Back when Tesla stock was worth one trillion, the value of the stock or the market cap was one trillion, everybody was saying that it can go for another 10x to 10 trillion. But the question is, what are the requirements needed for Tesla in terms of vehicle sales, FSD sales, energy sales, service sales, all that kind of stuff? How much is needed in terms of revenue and profits for the stock or company to be valued or worth in 10 trillion? In this video, that's exactly what we're going to find out. We're going to look at it in separate ways. We're going to take a look at the vehicles only, then vehicles plus energy, and then vehicles plus energy and FSD. And we're going to stop there because then it gets really complicated after that. So let's go with that. If you guys are ready, I mean, smash that like button. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. And hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get down to it. And guys, if you guys have been buying the dip, buying the dip, or double cost averaging into Tesla stock, then you guys need this shirt, or you guys would need this shirt right here. Link up here or in the description. Guys, check it out. Let's do a support me. Let's get some shirt going, let's get some merch going. All right, let's get down to the video. Starting off with the vehicles only. So as you guys can see here, we have the Ultra Bear, Bear, Base, Bull, and Ultra Bull case. Then we have the realistic part. Now, as you guys can see, if you guys want to add the vehicles part, for the Ultra Bear case, Bear, Base, Bull, pretty much for the entire cases. If you guys want to reach a 10 trillion mark, these are the numbers that you would need. You know, 10 million vehicles sold by 2030, each vehicle being 40,000 vehicle, you know, the vehicle revenue 400 million, 400 billion, and then 20% operating margin, which would be 80 billion profit services as well, and then total revenue. And then that would mean 114 PE by 2030 to get, you know, 10 trillion. That's what you would need. But you know, this is the same thing with the bear case, base, bull, and ultra bull case. It ranges from 114 PE all the way down to 66 PE. But what's the realistic part? You know, what's the realistic here? What does Tesla really need to hit the 10 trillion mark? Or I think it's about 3,000 or 3,100 bucks per share at the moment. Because you guys can see 66 PE with a, you know, total revenue of over 700 billion and a net income over 151 billion. That doesn't make, I mean, it's a bit too much, right? It's a bit too much to have a high value, to have a high multiple for that. That would mean, I mean especially if we're only focusing on the vehicles and services only, which this is exactly what I'm looking at. There's no AI, there's no tech, it's just vehicles and service. That's it. Tesla, in this case, is a car company. So, what would Tesla need to do by 2030 to have a realistic scenario for it to hit 10 trillion? So, what I did here was, is that for the vehicles, I said, We'd have about almost 40 million vehicle deliveries by 2030, 20,000 being sold each because obviously for any car company or any company to sell that much in volume, it has to be extremely cheap. Uh, at this point, we must have vehicles that are in the low 10,000s, in the mid 20s, and then we have the you know the Model Threes and Ys and and the SNX, all that kind of stuff. So nonetheless, obviously, if 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 Tesla does bring a $15,000 vehicle that for sure most people are going to go for that because it's the most affordable one and obviously the quality of Tesla is top notch. So $20,000 makes sense. That would give us a vehicle revenue of almost $800 billion. You give that a 20%, right? I know for operating margin uh, for vehicles right now, I think it's 17.5, but let's just say by 2030, it's going to be 20%. I personally, I think it's going to be closer to 25, 30%, but keeping things conservative, that would be about over $158 billion. That would also mean if they sell this many vehicles, that would mean services is gonna be extremely high because obviously you would have, you know, the $50,000, 50,000 kilometer services and other things that breaks and all that kind of stuff, all that goodies. So obviously we'll see, you know, the services doubling in that year with a 20% margin as well. That would give you over $41 billion in profits. So total revenue, that would give you almost a trillion. And that's insane. Tesla, almost like 40 million vehicles a year, a trillion with services, that's not bad. But then, you know, profits is not even, well, close to 20%, almost reaching $200 billion. Shared outstanding, yes, it's less than today because I am, I am expecting them to do some sort of a buyback at 3.25 and an EPS of 61.63. Um, but I gave it a PE of 50 because if we look at Ferrari, you know, their gross profits is in the 20%. And so if we want to give Tesla that same gross profits, operating margin and stuff, I think it is fair. And that's how you get your 10 trillion 
or 3,000 per share, or just you know, 10 trillion by 2030 by having almost 40 million vehicles sell, sold. And you know, one fourth of that will be services. And that's it. That's all you would need for Tesla to reach 10 trillion. The question is, is this actually realistic? Obviously all this, take all this with a grain of salt. There's only a prediction for your entertainment purposes. But if you ask me, I don't think Tesla is going to be selling 40 million vehicles. I don't want to we're already having trouble with 20 million, doubling that to 40, right? That's, uh, I'm not a Tesla bear, guys. I'm not, guys, I'm wearing a Tesla shirt. I got a Tesla mug. You know, I'm all into Tesla stock. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not a bear. I'm not a bear. I am a bull. I actually do believe they will do 20 million, but not by 2030, maybe by 2033, 2032. But I'm not a bear. I'm just looking at it at a realistic way. 40 million vehicles. That's a sheesh moment. But that's the vehicles only. Let's go to the vehicle. Uh, plus the energy. Let's go to this one because this one is more realistic, right? Because we do have energy and that's going to become bigger than the vehicle business over time. So we got the same scenario here. We got the Ultra Bear all the way to the Ultra Bull case. And again, these are the PEs that's needed to hit 10 trillion for each scenario. 108, 81, 69 for the big case. That's nice. That's nice. And then Bull case, 64, 60 for the Ultra Bull case to hit 10 trillion. But realistically, here's what we need to get 10 trillion realistically by 2030. So we said almost 40 million in the vehicles only for the vehicle sold or vehicle deliveries in this, just go the whole, the whole thing. Let's go ahead, the whole thing, 30 million. So really down about 10 million or just a bit less than that, but that would mean average selling price would be 23,000, not 20,000, because obviously if Tesla does bring a car, that's like 15,000. It's gonna be crazy. Everyone's gonna go for that. I mean, because it's literally gonna kill the whole competition or the whole other car company. It's insane. So if they're gonna sell less cars, probability of that is that they're still the higher end, which is 25, 30,000, 40,000 cars that people are still buying for. So if this was 23,000, we get a vehicle revenue of over 700 billion, 20%. We get over $140 billion. When it comes to the profits, now energy. Energy is very interesting because I'm looking at these numbers that I came up with. And I think this is extremely bearish, even for the ultra bull case of $80 billion in revenue. That's ridiculous. And doing some research here, they're saying that by 2030, because I was curious, I need to know more what other people are thinking, what is the estimate for 2030, what others are thinking about it. They're saying that by 2030, they're thinking about 30 mega packs competitors in, this, in Tesla's and their competitors, 30 mega pack. If Tesla takes 20 of those, mega pack factories will cost them about 8 billion of capex of initial construction. And Tesla will be making 400 to 500 billion per year in revenue from those factories around 2030. And then by 2040, it'll be 1 trillion, which is absolutely a huge moment. So when you go back and you look at these numbers, it's like, Pitchy, why are you, why are you so bearish? Like you're such a big bear, man. Come on. Even these guys are saying half a trillion dollars of energy when it comes to 2030. Absolutely insane. Now, what I did was is that, I mean, nobody knows really what's going to happen by 2030. I said that they're going to have about like five mega packs. Each of them will revenue about, will sell about 25 billion. So, so with that, if you add them all together, 150 billion. So that's, that's, that's not five mega pack. That's six mega packs. So six mega packs of 25 billion each when it comes to the, um, revenue. And, you know, we're going to give the same 20% because Elon did say the operating margin is going to be very close, the same to uh, vehicles as well when it comes to energy, which would be 20% or maybe 25%, but I'm just saying 20% here. And then, and then the profits of $30 billion of 20%. Now, again, I am being conservative here. I think it's going to be more closer to 25%, but hey, keeping it conservative. Now, obviously these services are different because less cars are there and that means there's less services. So instead of the 200 billion, we have almost 150 billion, 20%, almost 30 billion. And then the total revenue and the EPS, and all that goodies, we have over 1 trillion in revenue and over to, oh, that's a little bit over 200 billion in net income, shared outstanding 3.25 because of the buyback and all that kind of stuff. I'm still keeping it at the same, 61.6 in terms of the EPS. And I'm gonna give it 50 PE, oops, wrong right. bar. I'm gonna give it the 50 PE here, which would be 3,080 or 10 trillion. Now, this is more realistic when it comes to um, Tesla reaching 10 trillion by 2033 at energy. But if they're thinking half a trillion dollars or $400 billion by 2030 for energy revenue, that's just absolutely, that's, that, that's crazy. I mean, if that's the case, if we add this number in 
Adam, let's go ahead and do that right now. It's 400 billion. That would mean vehicles will probably drop down to that. And, then, and, and if that drops down, then this will probably drop down to maybe, <clears throat> I don't know, 25 billion. You know, it'll be something like that, you know. But, you know, the average selling price will be more as well. Because if we look at the bull case, around 28,000. So, really... It's a, it's a guessing game at this point, but in terms of requirements with energy included, if we take the bearish case of 150 billion, this, this is what we need with energy. Now, with FSD, FSD, I added here the FSD global revenue. I did not add the licensing or robo-taxi or the other stuff like insurance or whatever, because that just gets really speculative and we're already speculating enough here. So, you know, do FSD global revenue. I think this would make a whole lot more sense. So again, if you guys are interested to see this part, then why is not like smash that Come on, oh, come on, smash that like button. It's free. It's free. All right, man. All right, let's go. So as you guys can see, ultra bear to ultra bull case, 88 PE, all the way to 46 PE. These are the ten trillion that you would get with the including of FSD global revenue. Now let's go ahead in the realistic case for 2030. I think we figured out the energy, we figured out the uh, vehicles. I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, and hide it. That would be, again, another 10 million less in, instead of, uh, let me go back here, was it? It was around 30 million vehicles. Now it's, you know, 20 million vehicles is what West needs to be sold with an average price of 28,000 each, which that would give you a total revenue of just over half a billion dollars, 20%. That would mean over $113 billion when it comes to vehicles so that's very interesting you know we are seeing every scenario when we add something to it 10 million vehicles get less and less so you can only imagine what could happen when you have licensing coming out you probably need to reduce that this by maybe another 5 million which would be interesting but i didn't do it because it's just speculation upon speculation energy we already know 150 billion services does get changed here because we have less vehicles um sold so i put here the 20, 30 here, 20 million, even though it's a bit more, and it's increased it a little bit more to around 70, almost 78 billion. 20% of that is over 15 billion. We have FSD global revenue just above the base case here from 62 billion to 63 billion and all that goodies. Anyways, total revenue here we get. Check this out, guys. We get $857 billion. Now, this is very interesting, guys, because if we go back to the vehicles plus energy, we have 1 trillion there, but then look at the revenue. We have more margin with the FSD. We don't need to sell one trillion. We only we only need to sell eight hundred fifty billion to make the same amount. This is margins, man. This fully this is this is just insane. The FSD margins this is only sixty percent margins. I mean, when, or one or the other up there with the snap of a button, every vehicle on the road or every Tesla on the road that has the that wants to opt in for the FSD software wants to solve it's just over sixty percent profit, which is absolutely and flipping insane don't sleep on that this is why we this is why we're not reaching the same numbers as a vehicle and energy but we're getting the same profits as that with 150 billion dollars less in revenue that is so strong and very important i'm gonna give this 50 pe stiff and that's how you get with 10 10 trillion so if you guys want to add the fsd global and this means that you're betting that fsd will get solved which pretty much we're wrong give it another two three years it's solved it's finished right not too sure that this is how it's going to play out in terms of numbers but I do suspect that every vehicle that's, te that's a Tesla will have the option to opt in in the country that allows it. And uh, that's going to be just a lot of money for Tesla overnight. And that's going to be a massive valuation job for Tesla, in my opinion. Not financial advice, but I heavily, heavily believe that that's why I'm all into Tesla stock. Because for this one reason. Well, many reasons, but that's one of the main reasons. So, this is why we have the same net income as the vehicle and energy, but less revenue because margins are higher. By 50 PE, this is the requirements that you would need if you guys want to um, know the requirements for what Tesla needs to hit 10 trillion. Now, if licensing comes to this, as I mentioned earlier, this 20 million might have to come down to 15 million, and uh, we probably don't even need to hit that much in revenue, maybe a bit less, or even kind of the same, a little bit more, um, because it's just, you know, 80, at that point, it's probably going to be 80% profit, right? Licensing is just profit it's literally all profit and um if you want to increase the energy here and that would mean the vehicles will get less as well and later on you know guys as we keep going to the future tesla is going to become less and less of a car co car company not that it's, it's going to make less money from it they're going to do all-time record heights every single year but the pie of tesla's profits and revenue is going to shrink in vehicles and increase in energy and fsd and 
other things that are probably going to come, most likely are going to come. So vehicles, please don't look at this as a car company. Yes, 90% of it right now is all, you know, uh, coming from vehicles. But is that going to be the same case in five years time, in six years time? That's the question you guys need to ask. And if uh, Tesla bears ask that question, I'm sure they would uh, be more educated here. Here is the, all, all the charts here, vehicles only, vehicle energy, vehicle energy and FST side by side, what you need. Again, 40 million vehicles if you want vehicles only. Vehicle plus energy, only 30 million vehicles and vehicle plus energy and FSD, 20 billion vehicles. And you guys can take a pause, look at here what is needed. And again, if you add the FSD licensing, this goes down another five or six million in terms of vehicles. So again, all speculation. I mean, this 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 is all, I, mean, I, I was just doing a lot of math. I was just doing a lot of curious. I was studying one day and I'm like, how much would it be? What's the requirement for Tesla to hit 10 trillion? Is it that, you know, how many vehicles are going to do. So I sat down and I broke it down. It took me a few hours to do it. And yes, all this will be available on Patreon. So you guys can check that out as well. But these are the results that I came with. And do I believe it? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody flipping knows. All we got to do as Tesla investors is either lock our account until 20 flipping 30 or follow the company quarter by quarter. Like I do here on this channel. And I, I think in a few days time, or maybe this video is out by now. We have, you know, Tesla Shanghai coming out with their August deliveries. And I'm very curious to know what's that. And obviously we'll do an update video on that and how it's gonna impact Q3 and all that goodies. So um, yeah, here's the chart guys. You guys can take a look, you know, pause. You guys can um, look at it, agree with it, comment or disagree with it, comment down below. Very curious to know what you guys think. But again, if we're here for the long term guys, then we don't need to worry about all these things right now. Right? We, don't, we don't need to speculate, right? But if you want to see what Tesla stock would be if you include everything, because I didn't include everything here, right? I, I didn't have licensing here. I didn't have insurance here. I didn't have robotax here. Heck, I didn't even have the bot here because you, it's just hard to, you know, speculate or come up with these numbers. But I did it in this video over here. You guys can check it out. You won't be disappointed. But again, take away the gain of salt, all speculation. And don't, and guys, get your bot the dip shirt, 10% off Rick Bears. And subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.